So how do we love the unlovable people in our lives? Let me tell you a story, a very true story, an experience that I had. I was at a Unity Church conference in Unity Village. This is in the early 1990s, in the height of the first Desert Storm War. And Unity Church was putting on a conference about war. Now the thing about Unity Church is that the message is God is good and only God exists. So I asked the, there's a big symposium going on, and I asked, I posed the question, you know, why do we call war bad if God is good and everything is God? And honestly, I was putting them in a bad spot. Politically or socially, they could not possibly come out with a proclamation from Unity Church that war was good. And I totally understand that, and I would never say that myself. But they danced around it. I was very unsatisfied. And so after it was over, I just sat down, and I had a waking vision. I was transported to a celestial temple, and I had just the most extraordinary experience. First, I should say his background. Years earlier, when I was going to Unity Church in Sacramento, the two ministers, Phil and Dorothy Pearson, you know, 5,000 people would come hear them every Sunday. They were just extraordinary beings, and they had a television show that went to 13 Western states. I started back then having, at night, I would also go to these celestial temples. And who would be there but in their celestial bodies, Phil and Dorothy Pearson, teaching thousands of souls, just thousands upon thousands. I, you know, you, we've all heard the phrase, as above, so below. It made perfect sense to me then. But I'm saying this because I just want you to know I'd had experience with being at these celestial temples before. So when I sat down after getting this runaround about war being good or bad or this or that, without even trying, I was taken to this temple. And what I was watching was the process of souls taking birth. There was a leader sort of up on the stage, so to speak, in this big, huge auditorium. And he'd say, well, we need some, we need some school teachers. And a bunch of souls would fly up and fly out of the room to go take birth. He'd say, we need some lawyers. We need some mechanics. We need some policemen. We need this. We need that. And everyone was jumping up, happy to serve. And then came the big ask. This great being said, We need someone to take birth as the next Hitler. And suddenly the energy of the room just fell silent. And this great being kept saying, we need someone to take birth to show to all of humanity how much hatred remains within their hearts. And after what seemed like an eternity was really just a short period of time, I'm sure. One soul rose up and said, I'll do it. And suddenly, pandemonium in the auditorium, in the theater, in the temple. Everyone was just deliriously happy that someone was willing to take on that heavy burden. Just gratitude filled the air. And once I saw that, I just sort of came back out of that and I realized, Oh my goodness, all these people in my life that I feel are unlovable are really here to show me what I need to transform in my own heart, are showing me where it's time for more love to appear within me, for me to expand into my heart and love them, and love them some more. I've told this story to many people and it's touched so many of them, I thought I'd put it on a tape and put it on the internet. All of them get the sense that, oh my goodness, it's my father, it's my 
uncle, it's what whoever whoever it was. And it just shifts them just by hearing it. But my invitation to you is, you know, and maybe that shifts enough just for you. But if you go back to the wisdom of the desert fathers and the desert mothers, these great God realized beings from the fourth and fifth centuries who use their hearts, use their breath to expand their capacity to love. I invite you to do that. This process has been revived. It's called now Heart Rhythm Meditation, taught by an organization called I Am Heart. Or come take one of my classes on the internet. I'm really focused on healing the wounds in the heart of America right now. The classes are all free. It's an easy sign up. Or you can just listen to the recordings on the internet. We just go through the process of finding first how to love people in our life, the old memories in our lives, the old situations, and then we start to love all the parts of America that we dislike so intensely. And that's what we do. And as we heal these wounds by loving them, what will start to happen is there'll be a subtle shift in the heart field of America. And suddenly, millions of people will make decisions from love instead of from their wounds. And what a difference this will make. Please join us.